And Adam Murphy looking at how the road to the election winds through Georgia. And today the road to the election takes us to Cobb County. CBS 46 is Adam Murphy live at the West Park Government Center in Marietta, where early voting is taking place. Adam, any indication what might happen in Cobb County this election? Well, good afternoon, Rick. That's the $64,000 question we'd all like to have an answer to, and we just don't know right now. And here at this precinct on Whitlock Avenue, long lines, about an hour wait to early vote. Let me say this, though. I have looked into trends here in Cobb County, which may help build a case so we would possibly know what would happen here on Election Day. Let me begin with this. Cobb County historically is Republican is red, has been that way for many, many years, and is also where Newt Gingrich, former Speaker of the House, got his start. However, we have seen a blue tide come through this county over the last four years, and there is definitely a trend that is moving in the direction of Democrats. Now, let me tell you what I found. In 2016, then presidential nominee Hillary Clinton actually beat President Donald Trump in this community by a few thousand votes. And then watch this right here. In 2018, then gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams really did a number on now Governor Brian Kemp winning by some 30,000 votes here in Cobb County. So the lesson here is that it looks like the trend is blue, but the history is red, Rick. I know, Adam, that you spoke with political leaders from both parties uh, today in Cobb. Which one do you think has the, the ground advantage? You know, now it's all about getting out the vote, getting voters to the polls. Is there an advantage there in Cobb? Well, I think the advantage at this point goes to the Republican Party. I did speak with both parties. I will tell you, they have knocked on over a million doors. They're making many, many calls, thousands of calls, but they are actually out in the community. Whereas in this case, the Democratic Party, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, has said they're not doing that. They are out of respect because of the pandemic and for people's space. They're not knocking on doors. They are working the phones, but they're working the phones from home through apps and so forth. But the Republicans believe they have that advantage when it comes to that. And you laid this out so well, uh, talking about Cobb County from an historic perspective being Republican, but the last couple of cycles voting for Democratic candidates. Do the Democrats believe that they can sort of take that momentum and keep it going? They do. And they say the reason for that, changing demographics in this community. They believe that they have the edge because this is a much different Cobb County than it was many years ago as it was historically red. They believe it's now obviously swinging blue. And they believe that this election is a referendum on President Donald Trump. Adam Murphy, live for us in Cobb County tonight. Adam, thanks so much.